Hey, what's up everyone? This is me, Dre. Now I wanted to talk about uh, the reason why I make YouTube videos. And some people ask me, uh, some people hate the fact that I make videos simply because uh, the subject matter that I speak about. But the reason why I make YouTube videos is because there's a black truth that needs to be told and I get the opportunity to do so. Now, uh, there's always going to be a segment that doesn't like hearing this truth. And it's usually coon ass niggas. And then there are non-blacks, non-whites, and then there are whites that just can't embrace this message. Uh, one of the things that's indicative of those who can't partake in uh, embrace this knowledge uh, are people that deflect, usually racist. And even uh, going further, I know I had made a video back in December called White Privilege and the Refusal to Understand. I basically outlined my thoughts as far as the subject of white privilege and I gave a case in point and it was further backed up by the fact that you had this one YouTube channel called Drunken Peasants where it's uh, four white guys now I don't know their names so I'll just call them Mo, Larry, Curly and Shemp as uh, these four white guys um, they spent a 10 minute sex segment of their podcast which is about two hours or so where they uh, took the time to try to deconstruct the video and um, negate the things that I was saying. But all they did was prove a point that I made when it comes to white privilege, because it's easy for white guys like that to reflect. Um, one of them called me a nigger. Um, I don't know if it was the same guy or a different one, because I couldn't tell these assholes apart. But uh, one of them said that he would like to punch me in the face. And I got a chuckle out of that because you could tell that f these four bitches, they don't get out in the sunlight too often. Uh, they sparkle more than these vampires from the Twilight movies, little pasty ass white boys. Um, and I'm not going to go too further than that. Initially, I was going to have this um, long drawn out video uh, as a clap back to what they had said. But in the end, I decided that one uh, going back and forth with people who refuse to understand, even though I typically do that, I just wasn't going to waste my time and breath because, again, these are four white guys who hear the word white privilege and they think that it's an attack. Um, those who have unfriended me uh, understand that I'm unapologetic. I have plenty of white friends. So when people call me a racist, I don't try to argue what they're saying simply because. You can't make an idiot change their mind. So for me to argue, well, this is why I'm not a racist. What's the point? These people don't know me. So the fact that they don't like hearing this black truth, that's one of the reasons why they'll say, well, Andre, you're a racist because you're attacking black people. Uh, when all you have to do is look in a dictionary, because by definition, there's nothing that I've said in any of my videos that has oppressed or marginalized white people. I simply tell the truth from a black, black perspective and this is a truth that many other black people embrace, but it's also a truth that many white people, such as these four guys from Drunken Peasants, refuse to acknowledge. So for me, being able to make videos for YouTube, again, there's a, uh, there's going to be a, a subscriber base that enjoys hearing my words. They embrace the words that I say. They understand the knowledge and they are just as awake as I am when it comes to uh, my blackness. This isn't a pro-black, anti-white video when I make my videos. Uh, no, I don't hate white people. Uh, but I speak the truth from the perspective that I've experienced racism. I've been called nigger and every other derogatory name that a black person be called. Uh, when I leave outside, I'm a considered a threat. So the, oppor the chance that I'm going to encounter law enforcement and get shot um you do see it happening but if it's something that's going to happen to me generally it's going to be a white person that says he should have complied simply because of the color of my skin and as i've said in several of my, my videos our sin is our skin when it comes to black people um these racist white people that tend to generalize and you know the racist the moment they try to bring up chicago and detroit uh, not realizing that not every black person lives in those two cities. Uh, white people will always overlook white on white crime. And that's a different subject matter altogether. But for me, when I speak about things and I counter what these racist assholes say, it's because I understand the truth being a black man. So I can see that there is crime in the black community, 
But I also understand that there's crime in a white community, which is something that I will address, whereas white people refuse to address uh, white privilege is a real thing. Black people, we're not racist as much as white people like to think we are simply because there's a certain prejudice that some black people have is justifiably so. The history of this country is predicated on the racism and the hate towards black people. So all of a sudden, some white people want all black people to embrace white people. I have no problem with white people. But at the same time, I know there are black people that take issue with white people, don't trust white people, don't want anything to do with white people. And I can certainly understand simply because, uh, as the Honorable Leo Muhammad said, the moment that you let a white person into your congregation, into your community, they will do everything in their power to usurp. This is not a generalization for all white people. So those who hear this and understand, you'll know that this message is not for you, but for the racist assholes out there that don't understand and don't comprehend or just don't want to hear black truth. You will have something to try to negate this. But the truth is what it is. And for those who've encountered racism, uh, whether it's by white people or from any other ethnicity, because blacks can't be racist against one another because we all wear the same skin. Uh, but all in all, we have an uphill battle. This country, it's racist. Long before Obama got in office to where you hear these racists talk about Obama created this racial divide. Those are the white people that keep their eyes closed and ignore everything that was happening long before Obama got into office, but it's a black man like me that's proud to be able to speak that truth so that white people understand. And yes, they will ignore it. But for those who embrace this message, the only thing that I can really say is that I'm going to continue to speak this black truth, whether anyone wants to hear it or not. And for those that don't like my words, well, I can just simply say, fuck you. Anyway, if you like this video, hope that you like, subscribe and share. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter. Peace.